Hi, I am Zara, a grade 2 student from CFA Homeschool. And for quarter 3, I will be sharing to you my book report. The title is That's It Pansit. The author is Patricia Celine Ngo. The illustrator is Rebecca V. Yu. The, let's start with a vocabulary. Culture, all the ways of life. Purity, the quality of being pure. Luna, resembling the moon. Hokkien, a type of Chinese dialect. Sino, Chinese. Sinoy, Chinese, Filipino Chinese. Adapted to change behavior. Local, belonging or relating to, uh, to a particular area. Yearly, occurring once a year or every year. Ang pao, red envelope and inside is money, usually given as a gift. Wika, language. Pinanggaglingan. Root, or source where something comes from. Dalisay, pure. Next is the characters. Lily, she is the main character. She is Filipino Chinese like me. Her age is six. Lily's little brother. He is the youngest character in the story. Lily's mom. She is Filipino. Pure Filipino. Good at cooking. And adopt to culture. <coughs> Lily's dad. He is Chinese. He works at the family business in their family business. Lily's grandma, she is Chinese. Also good at cooking like Lily's mother. Lily's grandpa, he is Chinese. Setting, Lily's home. It is yellow inside and red outside. Lily, with her extended family, lives in her home. Next is Lily's Filipino school. She, that's where she learns Filipino. And inside is blue. And outside is um, red and orange. That, that's where Lily's classmates ask Lily questions if she was Filipino or Chinese. Summary. There was once a girl named Lil Lily. She is Chinese and Filipino. Lily, just like me, Lily has two birthdays. Her Filipino, birth her Filipino birthday is on April 16. And her family wears red because she is Filipino Chinese. Lily's Chinese birthday is on April 12 or 2. Lily's family has two New Year celebrations. In January 1, Lily blows her tarotot and, and on February 1, in Chinese New Year, she watches dragons or lions dance to drive evil spirits away. Lily speaks two languages, Chinese and Filipino, just like me. One day, Lily's family celebrate. Um, one day, Lily's family celebrated her little brother's birthday. The, she asked her mother if they would still get a long life from Filipino noodles because their culture believes that if they eat noodles, they will get long life. Her mom answered, yes, Lily, noodles is both Filipino and Chinese. The, then, Lily said, that's it, Pancit. Yes, Lily said, Pancit is Filipino and Chinese just like me. Me and Lily are both Filipino and Chinese. And me and Lily, both have younger brothers. And my question is, is it true if we eat noodles, we get long life?
My Chinese, my favorite Chinese dish is noodle stew. My favorite thing about being Filipino Chinese is because I like having two languages. I don't have any Filipino classmates that ask me that if I am Chinese or Filipino. Lily's classmates asked her if, if she was Filipino and Chinese. But I am homeschooled and in, I am in an online Mandarin class. So there are no classmates asking me if I'm Filipino or Chinese. I want to share that achi means Chinese for ate. I'm gonna share t to you five Chinese words and I'm gonna translate to them in Filipino. First is um, shu, that means libro or book. Wo ai du shu. Gusto ko magbasa ng libro. Second Chinese word is mangkuo, which means mango or, or manga in Filipino. In a sentence, wo ai chir mangkuo, which means I like to eat ma mango. The next, the third, the third Chinese word is chir, which means um eat or ma ma kain I'm gonna use in the um in a sentence and it's wa ai chir ku kwa wa chir ku kwa that means I eat ampalaya the fourth Chinese word is um, orange, which means Chinese. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, do, which means basa. I'm gonna use it in a Chinese lang Chinese sentence. What? What do sure? Which means I read book. Then the. The fifth and last Chinese word is um, pinkan, which is, which is biscuits or biscuits or biscuit. I'm gonna use it in a Chinese lang Chinese sentence. Wo ai pinkan. Then. That means, I love biscuits. If someone is mean to you, do not be mean to them because the, the, the classmates of Lily were, were mean to her, the, but she was not mean to them. I liked in, in the book, I liked because it, was, it showed Filipino, English, and Chinese, and I also like the pictures of the book and I I really like when Lily didn't didn't be mean to her classmates. Thank you for watching. Sinian Kwaila.